Hey guys, today I'm canning chicken breast, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some salt. I use canning and pickling salt, um, vinegar, paper towels, a jar lifter, a lid lifter, a spatula, a slotted spoon, something to protect your hands with, something to protect your table with. You're going to need a funnel. You're going to need a very hot pot for your lids and your rings. You never want to boil that water, you just want it extremely hot. And are ready to go. I put a little bit of vinegar in there to stop the cloudiness on the jars. I'm keeping this at room temperature because I'm doing a raw pack and the jars are going to be at room temperature. I want my water to be at room temperature also. Okay, let's get started. You want to make sure that your water is extremely cold when you're washing your chicken. I usually do three at a time. This is how I do it. First and foremost, I never cut my chicken on anything else other than this. I have one specific little thing that I use for chicken. I'm going to put that in the scrap. These are usually trimmed really, really nice. And I just go ahead and cut off anything that I don't want. How nice that is? That's just beautiful actually. The store that I get my chicken from is just wonderful. Now how I cut my chicken, it's totally up to you how you do it, but for me, I've canned hundreds of cans of chicken, and that's no exaggeration. And what I find is, a lot of people will cut them into little cubes, like this. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But what I find is, it's all going to fall apart anyway. No matter how big or small that you cut it, it's all going to fall apart in the pot. So I keep my chicken chunks very large, extremely large actually. Like that, even a strip like that, that will go in. It will just crumble apart as soon as you try to work with it when you get it out of that jar. And Chicken breast is a staple in my house. It's an absolute staple. Out of all the meat there is, my daughter will eat chicken breast first. So that's what goes the most in my house. So it doesn't matter if you go against the grain or with the grain. It's all the same. And that's pretty big. That's very big. But that's how big I keep it. Now mind you, the smaller your pieces are, the more you're going to get in your jar. So that's a kind of a bonus if you keep it on the smaller side. But to me, it doesn't seem to really make that much of a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and trim up all this chicken because I have a lot to do. And then I'll come back. Okay, the chicken is done. It's all cut up. Just a quick reminder that once you're done doing your chicken, cutting it all up, Please make sure that you sanitize all of the faucets, sinks, countertops before you go to the next step. That's really, really important. You don't want to take any chances when it comes to chicken. Ready to go. I have my room temperature jar. I have my funnel. I find it easiest if I put the salt in first. I put a half a teaspoon of salt in there. Then I go ahead and put my chicken in. Chicken's a little bit different when you go to burp your jars. What I find helps the most is this. This is a lot stiffer and harder than the normal spatula. So without removing the funnel, I go ahead and just start poking that chicken in. Because you're not adding any fluid, you really got to try to get all the air pockets out of there. It's not easy to, to burp these jars. And you want it to an inch. So I can probably fit in another piece. Probably. Yeah, that looks good. So you want to go ahead and get your paper towel and your vinegar. And it's a really good idea to um, wash your hands quite often when you're doing this especially if you're doing a lot, just keep washing your hands. You're going to get your hot lid. Here's your ring. Get your hot lid. 
Center it. Put your ring on, finger firm, and I'm going to put that in the canner. Okay, I have 15 pints in here for my first batch. Before I forget, because I forgot to mention, you don't have to sterilize your jars before you pressure can. Just make sure that they are thoroughly washed and rinsed. I ran mine through the dishwasher because I have so many to do. So I've set my stove too high. I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to wait for that to be brought up to pressure. Okay, this is been brought up to pressure. This little button has come up. It's a full stream of steam coming up, so I'm going to time it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is up. I'm going to put my 10 pound weight on. When that comes up and starts to jiggle, I'm going to time this for 75 minutes because it's pint. It would be 90 minutes for the liters. When the 75 minutes is up, I take it right off the burner. I let it come down in pressure. That little button going down lets me know that that's happened. It's safe to take the weight off. I let it sit for 5 minutes and then I go ahead and remove the canner lid. I let that sit a jarred for about 5 minutes. Then it's safe to take the jars out. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the canner. They're extremely hot. So I go ahead and I put that on the table with a towel on the table and I let it sit there undisturbed for 24 hours. This is how I wash the jars. I just take the lids off, put a little bit of stuff on my cloth, and make sure that everything's off these jars, especially with chicken. And then give it a good dry. This is what I got. I got 27 pints, and I had approximately 29 pounds of chicken. Approximately 29 pounds of chicken. They turned out great. They all sealed. That's a bonus. So this is what it looks like. It's not the prettiest, but boy is this flavorful. The liquid that you see in there, in all of these jars, that's pure chicken. Because I raw packed it, I didn't use water, all of that liquid is just chicken um, liquid, and it's so flavorful. And that's the reason why I do it this way. It is just packed of flavor. So that's how it turned out. So hopefully you'll give it a try because this is, canning chicken is one of the easiest things in the world to can. Just be careful with, um, you know, your counters, sinks, things like that. Make sure you wash your hands a lot. But I'm sure if you try this, it will work out. It always works out for me. It's super easy to do. Don't forget to label and date your jars. Super important. Till next time. Hey, doe.